In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really powerful little setup here um, for mesh posts. This is kind of a sneaky little blitz beater that I really like to call and uh, real simple. So um, this is uh, kind of depending on your situation, you could call a five out you can call four out. We're going to show you four out and five out in this video, uh, meaning you can block a running back. You can block a tight end depending on your you know situation, uh, but really like this play a lot. Mesh post is a very versatile play this year uh, out a bunch. I'm in Washington. If you guys want to get my full Washington uh, Commanders offensive ebook, we broke down bunch, bunch open tight end as well as gun tight. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more updates for gun tight as well as so I'm going to start using that formation a little bit more. We're going to be adding empty bunch into there. Potentially we'll also add uh, normal Y off close and maybe um, if we can find some good stuff out of Trey White Flex, we will put that in there as well for you guys. But Patreon members get access to everything. So 10 bucks gets you all the ebooks, all the updates to all the ebooks. We've got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks out as of today. And we're planning to release another one this week, uh, kind of expanding on the gun type formation. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, 10 bucks. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. Let's get into the video and talk about why mesh post is so powerful uh, and versatile. So, um, with, with mesh posts, what we can do, the setup for this, is we're going to see right our sole receiver. Now, outside apprentice is the most important ability this year, in my opinion. If you don't have outside apprentice, you can get it. I mean, you can get it relatively easily. There's a lot of teams and regs that have this. Um, and then it's pretty easy to get this. So, having outside apprentice on your solo receiver is really important. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to motion him across. Now, this is where we have kind of some choices of what we want to do. We can do a couple things. The first thing that we could do here is we can put our tight end on an out route and slant Scotty Miller. We we'll do something like this. This play is really good. I'm going to show you why. So when you run your bunch uh, to the short side of the field, okay. So like in this example, I'm on the I'm or um, I'm sorry. When you run your bunch, your three receivers to the field to the wide side of the field. And your solo receiver is on the short side of the field. So as you see here, if I'm on the left hash, my bunch would be to the right. If I was on the right hash, my bunch would be to the left. What will happen is this wheel route will do a really good job of pulling zones late. Um, it's not suit, it's not perfect, um, but it will do a decent job. You might need to even hot route him, uh, but I'll show you uh, cover three. And just motion the slant over. And a lot of times what you'll see is this third will get pulled at the last second. Not quite doing it very well for me right now. Uh, but anyways, you can you could do a, you could do a running back streak or whatever. You could also do this to the wide side of the field to give you a little bit more space. Uh, but the main thing that I want you to know is you have some versatility with this setup, okay? What I like to do is when you motion over this slot receiver on a streak and you put the running back on an end route, this little in route is going to give you kind of a check down read. But against man coverage, there's no better route in the game, in my opinion, than the C route. The C route is really powerful against against man coverage. It's technically called a corner route um, in the hot routes of outside apprentice, but it's a C route. Everybody knows uh, this is a C route. So uh, uh, cover three, you'll see now I have a little better chance at clearing out those zones, and that's a lot better, a lot more cleaner beater for cover three cover four cover two it doesn't matter what zone they put if they play zone on the on the bunch side they will not be able to guard this um there's not a zone in this game that is going to be able to go handle the c route and the uh excuse me the c route and the streak okay they would have to mabel their coverage out of a cover two and most people aren't going to do that and if they are doing that it's pretty obvious because you're going to see this. You're going to see them backing their coverage off. Okay? If you see that, you can work this little underneath game with your back. Okay? Uh, and that's why the running back is so important. Okay? Because, because again, like a, a traditional cover two, um, you know, you're going to get this right here. So they're going to really try to pull these clouds back. Okay? Which is going to mean they're going to need to have any, some people in the underneath flat. So now you're going to see something like this. This guy is going to be in a dilemma because he's going to have to guard the post, right? So that's where your running back is going to be a really nice little check down uh, built into this play. So you see, just assume that that's guarded, okay? But there's so much space here, and that's going to be an easy 5 to 10 yards every single time. 
okay? So that's how you kind of break down zone coverage. Now with man coverage um, or an adjusted variation of man coverage, you're going to get something like that adjustment over there on the left side. Um, the reason that it's important to kind of discuss this, this is probably the best chance they have at defending your C route. Um, and you'll see that it doesn't stop it. You'll see here um, a lot of times my C route is going to be open. i got to kind of trust it a little bit. Uh, I need a little better pass lead there from Brady. Uh, I'll show you one more time here. So, again, the adjustment is they're going to man up the safety on the on the solo receiver, and then they're going to have a deep third on the outside. So then, so they have the slot receiver manned up, and then they also have a man up and a third. Okay, and, again, we're putting the running back on a little in route, and what you'll see here is if I freeform pass lead outside, that's going to be open, okay? So you still have, have you still have the ability to hit that, but let's just assume – that you don't okay now they're in a position where you know maybe the person that they put that's in man coverage on the running back or that's normally in man coverage on the running back is not going to be there so now you got to just imagine a little bit with me kind of the idea here but if they're sending pressure also um this is assuming they're not sending pressure most of the time they'll be sending five at you at least from dollar so now my post is going to be wide open in the middle of the field that slot receiver is going to clear out zones um, as well as, for the C route as well as for the other route. So now what I want to do is just kind of illustrate a blitz. So we're going to kind of do our best here to showcase what this might look like. But we'll put a third out here. We're going to send some heat. Um, and then let me just motion this guy across and we'll kind of show you what spinner might look like. So you're going to block your tight end, okay? Um, and then if you look here, this is kind of, if you will, um, kind of what spinner would look like. So they would probably have this guy in a hard flat over here. Um, this guy would, of course, be blitzing. Now this guy, um, in this example, he's in zone, but he would be manned up on the tight end. So let me man him up on the tight end. And then now their user is going to be kind of in, middle, in the middle of the field trying to guard that post, right? So what you have is if their user goes to the post, you have this little uh, little check down to the back right there. Boom, one cut up the field and you got 10 yards. So now what their user is gonna have to do, um, if they're gonna blitz you, their user is going to have to go guard the running back, okay? Uh, really regardless of what they do, that's what he's gonna have to do, okay? It doesn't matter what the other linebacker really does, to be honest. So you get something that looks like this. Again, they're they're not gonna know your tight end's blocking, okay? Um, you know, but you see here, this is kind of the basic idea. Um, so now, and again, you have your C route, right? But now the user's gonna suck underneath, and so we want to step up and hit our post right there, okay? Late. Um, so that is the the main setup that I like to call. Now, if you want to send five out, uh, my favorite way is to run mesh underneath. So we're going to drag our tight end and in route our running back. This right here is a really good concept. You have a little mesh concept underneath, um, and then you have that post coming over the top of it. So what the meshing of the underneath guys are going to do is going to create rubs, um, the natural picks, natural rubs to get them open. But it's also going to do a really good job of clearing out zones and then the other thing that's going to do for you is you're going to have a couple really quick reads if they're if they're blitzing you so you see here that time my running back beat my man coverage and i'm able to get the ball to the flat a lot of times they'll forget about the running back that's the whole purpose of the setup and variation of mesh mesh post this is for people who are not covering the running back and you still want to be able to pick up the blitz but have the running back go the opposite way of the c route Really, a really, really effective setup for mesh posts. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire Washington offensive ebook, I've got two bunch ebooks out uh, Pittsburgh and Washington. If you want to check both of those out, the link to sign up for that Patreon is in the description. Uh, $10 will get you access to everything, all 13 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all updates. We drop new material every week in the Patreon to help you get better, including new ebooks and new updates to old ebooks. So make sure that you're in there. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below. And we will see you guys over at the Patreon page.